the art of peace, trust and peace building through traditional culture, art and religious rituals. In many conservative communities, it is customary for older men to take responsibility for dispute resolution and conflict management. Young men and women and people who are impoverished or socially marginalized are rarely consulted about conflict, justice, economic opportunity and political or social issues. Yet young men are often expected to take up arms to defend their tribe or clan, while women must manage the impact of trauma, impoverishment and injustice on their families. They are also especially vulnerable to sexual and gender-based violence in insecure places. According to UN Women, women's direct participation in peace negotiations increases the sustainability and quality of peace. The Women, Peace and Security Agenda, adopted by the UN Security Council in 2000, seeks to move peace processes at all levels towards more inclusive, equitable and sustainable processes that are gender just. In 2015, the UN Security Council also recognised the positive roles that young people play in preventing and resolving conflict and building peaceful societies. It encourages the full inclusion of young people in negotiating and implementing peace agreements. Because if young people are not involved in these important decisions, their needs will simply not be prioritised and they will remain alienated. How do we support young women and men to build and shape the kinds of peaceful and stable societies where they can thrive without this appearing as a threat to traditional cultures? Could music, art, poetry and cultural or religious rituals be a more acceptable platform for women and young people to express their perspectives um, in conservative communities where social norms prevent them from speaking directly in public or in front of elders. How can we build on customary systems of dispute resolution and community reconciliation so that they become more inclusive of the views of women, youth and socially marginalised groups? In Iran, Imam Ali's popular student relief society exists to build a stable world based on justice and peace, with a special focus on vulnerable people, especially children. Imam Ali's community supports many disadvantaged women and children, such as working and street children, deprived children, and those who are homeless through its Iranian Houses program. Children are taught music, art, and photography to direct their energy and need for expression through creative outlets. They perform at national and religious events such as Eid. This helps to connect socially marginalised young people with more affluent social groups in their hometowns and cities. It gives each the chance to understand the other, building empathy and compassion so that they can address social problems together. <laughs> منجر به این میشه که صلح به خطر میفته همون بحث فقر اعتیاد همه این شرایط ایجاد یک تضاد و تعارض میکنه و میتونه زمین ساز خشونت باشه و ایجاد کانفلیکت بین افراد مختلف و جمعیت امامالی که همیشه نگاهش به محلات فقیر نشین یک نگاه هم باشکافانه و هم امدادگرانه بوده نسبت به این مسئله خوشیارانه عمل کرده و از موضوع هنر و ابزار هنر برای اینکه بتونه تعارضات رو برطرف بکنه و فاصله گذاری هایی که بین اقوام مختلف و حتی اخشار مختلف اجتماع افتاده این فاصله ها و این تعارضات رو بتونه حل و فصل بکنه وقتی در یک جامعه خود فرق و اینکه یک ادعی در حاشیه باشن، پرد شده باشن، در فضای فرق زندگی کنن و ادعی دیگه بیرون از این فضا باشن، قشر متوسط و فرهیخته جامعه باشن این اختلاف پتانسیل خودش ایجاد تعارض و خودش به نوعی دشمن صلح هستش وقتی که یک نهاد مدنی ایجاد جمعی میکنه که همه رو برابر کنار همدیگه قرار میده 
و ابزاری مثل هنر میتونه این برابری و همسانی و این تاثیرگری رو انجام بده که افراد بدون قضاوت با هم روبرو بشن بدون اینکه من قومم افغانستانی است ملیت افغانستانی است یا تو ملیت ایرانی است من قومم قربتی است چوکی است یا دیگری قومش بلوش هستش این افتراقات از بین هم به کودکان فرصت این رو میدن که ابراز کنن خودشون رو و همین ابراز کردن خشونت هایی که در جامعه بزرگ سال به این کودکان ابراز شده Art is also used as therapy to relieve trauma and build inner peace and self-esteem. الان دوستان عکاسی یاد بگیرم ما یه هنری خیلی قوی که تو دنیا هستش عکاسی بردارم که میتونه همه چیز رو به خوبی بیان کنه بیانگر یه داستانی باشه که تو زندگی خودم یا بچه های دیگه اون رو میتونم تو این عکاسی به نمایش بردارم این بزرگتر هنر من که خیلی هنری خوبی هم هست برای من و اطرافیان هم که همیشه دوست داشتم Some of the children supported in Iranian houses are refugees from war in neighboring countries. The Others are child workers whose labor is exploited. من تجربه هم توی این سال ها نشون داد بچه ها وقتی توی مسیر هنر قرار می گیرن به نوع اعتراضشون رو و این کمبود ها و کاستی هایی که داره در حق بچه های مختلف توی تمام جهان اتفاق می افته سر می کنن نشون In the Philippines, singers, songwriters and artists facilitate creative expression workshops with youth in conflict-affected areas of Mindanao. These young people share their artwork through social media and village performances, allowing new perspectives on conflict to be heard. Ako po pala si Aljon M. Dian, na nakatira sa barangay Limpungo, Ruto Hopper, 26 years old. Ako po ay isang kabataan or peace development facilitator ng Islamic Relief. Oo po sir, yung mga kabataan po sa amin ay nakakasundo na po after nila po nagseminar ng peace camp. Tulad ng kwan sa alitan ng mga kabataan. Tapos yung mga BLGU sinasama po kami sa panoperasyon bahay ng kaguluhan na nangyayari. Po sir, dahil po dun, kinigilala po nila ako sa, sa parte ng usaping pangkapayapa. Mandera in Kenya is increasingly insecure as it is close to the border with Somalia. This peace-building program funded by CEDA encourages young people to express their opinions using drama and poetry. Somalia has a strong oral tradition. Poetry recitals are often used to comment on political issues and even incite violence. But Islamic Relief works with groups of young people to present their perspectives on clan disputes and advocate for peace 
safely. Amani bila gari kwa duka haipatikani kwa pesa hata sokoni haipatikani dola za marekani euro za ujerumani pia yeni za jamani amani bila gari kwa duka haipatikani hinda jirani wako wao wanaitamani wao haipatikani kiongeze manani tujimishe amani mtu huku akili huku akiniro kirefu tamati nasema kwa herini tuongeze tu rahmani tukae tumesikitini kama wewe mekanisani tuombe rahmani wetu tujalishe imani tuishi kama zamani niongeze wanani tujimishe amani santeni Gulu Women's Economic Development and Globalization was established by war affected women in northern Uganda with the support of Diaconia it is working to promote land rights using alternative dispute resolution systems to mitigate land conflict and promote peaceful coexistence. First of all, we train the chief on mediation skill, and these skills are based on the peace building modules, and it is also accompanied by a do not harm principle. It is also uh, a model that respects both sides uh, in terms of opinion, in terms of access to economic resource, in terms of their socio-economic rights. The training is also to re-echo uh, the mandates of the customary chief before the war. Gwedji works with the Alternative Dispute Resolution System to empower marginalized groups such as women and orphans to speak out and be heard. Because this system is based on customary traditions, it has a history of local legitimacy and is more accessible than the formal justice system. Rights of women, children, person with disability regarding customary land. Any decision taken in respect of land held under customary tenor, whether in respect of land held individually or communally, shall be in accordance with the custom, tradition and practice of the community concerned. Accept that decision which is deny, which denies women, children, persons with disability access to ownership, occupation, or use of any land shall be null and void. When justice is derived from the principle and practices of the tradition and custom, that justice is durable because it comes as a negotiation, okay? It is negotiated, it is dialogued, and as a result, relations within the people is restored. This approach is culturally and gender sensitive, locally accepted and communally owned. The focus is on restorative justice, reconciliation, forgiveness and peaceful coexistence. The resolution is cemented by traditional rituals of peace. These include drinking water from the same pot, planting a particular tree on land boundaries if the dispute is about land, shaking hands and hugging, and eating traditional food together as a symbol of unity, respect and peace. The Akonia in Uganda has been working with a local partner Gulu Women Economic Development and Globalization to promote the use of uh, an approach to alternative dispute resolution. Uh, this approach uh, is, has been very good in using traditional music, dance, food, dialogue to enable conflicting parties, resolve issues between them. Um, it is an approach that has been also very good for building trust but also for causing uh, social cohesion and change. The rituals of reconciliation matter. Um, rebuilding group culture after conflict helps to heal a community, re-establish its cultural traditions and rebuild its group identity. But can it also be a way to build bridges between younger and older generations or bring women into conversations about social and political issues? 
In the Maguindanao culture, in the Bangsamoro autonomous region in the Philippines, the Kanduli festival is a traditional offering and thanksgiving which celebrates local culture and promotes peace. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I am Doraisa Kudarat Abdullah from uh, Barangay uh, Talibaduk Dato, Hopi Magin Danau, and I am 21 years old. Para po sa amin, yes, yung kanduli po ay napakalaki po ng dulot nito sa kapayapaan. Kasi alam natin na yung uh, mga tao, minsan lang sila magkakasama. So dahil lang po dyan, yung mga hindi nag-uusap ay nakakapag-usap sila dahil po sa salong-salong uh, kanduli. At saka marami po siyang uh, nadudulot na mabuti po sa ating barangay. So ang opportunities po uh, na bibigay po ng uh, kanduli uh, sa amin, best lang po sa nakita ko sa mga ginagawa po is yung kasi po sa barangay Talibadok na dyan po ang IP, mga kapatid nating IP at saka maginda nun po. Which is yung mga IP po ay natakot sila or parang nahihiya sila makihalo sa maginda naon. So dahil lang po sa kanduli is nakita ko po doon na maghahalo yung maginda naon at saka IP po na kung saan masaya silang nagkukwentuhan at saka masayang ah... Uh, kumakain na yung kung ano yung nakakain ng maginda no nakakain din ng IP so parang uh, napakalaki po na tulong ito between uh, IP at saka mga maginda no uh, para magkaroon ng mas uh, malawakang uh, usaping kapayapa so ang pinakamahirap na na-encounter ko na challenge sa pagkanda pa ng kanduli yung uh, invite po ang mga kapatid natin IP kasi po uh, natakot po sila makihalo sa maginda no? na baka madiscriminate lang po sila so yun po ang pinaka uh, mahirap so ang ginawa ko lang po is para ano is uh, gimotivate ko sila encourage ko sila na mafeel talaga nila na bilong naman sila walang pagkakaiba ang tiduray at saka mag, uh, maginda naon mga kapatid nating IP wala po silang pagkakaiba uh, na kailangan talaga magkaroon sila ng connection kailangan talaga na mag-build yung good relationship ng bawat esa para malis power para mawala po yung mga discrimination po between uh, maginda nun at saka mga kapatid natin po IP. So, dahil namang doon, nagpapasalamat ako kasi yung mga pag-motivate ko sa kanila, pag-encourage ko sa kanila, yes, alhamdulillah, uh, uh, nag-effect po naman kasi nakadalo, nakadalo po sila sa mga uh, uh, kanduli po na ginawa. In Indonesia, halal be halal ceremonies are held during Eid al-Fitr. People come together to pay respect to each other and apologize to their neighbor for any wrongs they may have done in the last year, seeking forgiveness. This places social pressure on the community to let go of their grievances with each other and live in peace. In the common practice, youth and women usually do only uh, the technical parts such as preparing the tent, or serving food, managing the chairs, arranging the tables, but this time we encourage them to be the leader and make the difference to promote peace and harmony in their language and art performance. Traditional arts, culture and religious rituals might just create the safe and constructive space we need to engage different social groups in dialogue, rebuild trust, resolve disputes and build peace. بچه بس و در مورد بحث زنان هم همین طور یعنی مدرخان های اشتغالمون همین ابزار سازی و همین بازی های کودکانه و همین مسائل به قول برای پنری رو اومدیم به نوعی دستاویز قرار دادیم که وسیله بشه برای این که ابراز وجود اتفاق بیافته و همین ابراز وجود خشونت های نهفته نفرت های نهفته در درون فرد رو بتونه حلال بشه و بتونه تسهیل بکنه که با ابرازش ازش آزاد بشه و, ب... و در کنار اون بتونه به یک پرزنت قوی برسه بتونه به یک محصولی برسه و وقتی که اقوام مختلف وقتی افراد مختلف و شرایط مختلف کنار هم قرار میگیرن با یک هدف مشترک و برای اینکه بتونن یک ابراز هنری داشته باشن به یک مشارکت و به یک همسانی و برابری به نوعی دست نیاویزن و 
حاصلش این میشه که همه برابر همقدم و همراه میشن برای یک ارائه مشترک که نفع همه برابر هستش سود و زیان همه برابر هستش و به نفع جمع نفع جمع منافع مشترک جمع مطرح میشه همه اینها به نوعی یک الگوسازی است برای سود یک الگوسازی است برای اینکه خیلی وقتا ما وارد این محلات شدیم به خاطر اون تضادها و تعارضات جامعه بزرگسال میدیدیم خب خیلی از قومیت ها با هم مشکل داشتن ولی وقتی ما اومدیم الگو رو در کودکان پیدا کردیم و در کودکان یک پرزنت رو میتونه شکل بده هنر بسیار بسیار در این قضیه پیشرو بوده حالا موضوع ما بیشتر هنر هست چون ابراز وجود رو میسر میکنه چون خشم های نهفته رو به روی به مت میاره از درون و همین که میتونه در یک پرزنت شکل گرفته در قالب این نمایشگاه نقاشی در قالب اجرای کنسرت موسیقی در قالب اجرای تئاتر افراد رو در کنار هم در یک پیروزی و موفقیت مشترک قرار بده و بتونن هم همراه با هم به نوعی یک پرزنت جمعی داشته باشن که این خودش میتونه تعارضات و تفریق ها و اختراعات و برچسب گذاری هایی که از جامعه بزرگسال به نوعی تذکر میشه Has there been too much focus on western models of formal dispute resolution and political inclusion to build peaceful societies Are these models too alien, too costly, or too focused on retribution and individual rights? Is support to customary dispute resolution processes and cultural traditions of reconciliation key to conflict resolution and lasting peace? As long as these systems are reformed to be more inclusive and more respectful of the rights of women, youth, and socially marginalized people. When we're talking about sensitive social issues in conservative communities, is it easier to use the arts and cultural or religious rituals to voice the views of women and youth and socially marginalized communities? Or does this simply reinforce the perception that women and youth may only concern themselves with culture and religion and not with politics? Tell us what you think. Please like, comment, and share this video.